Hi everybody. I just wanted to come on and um, talk to everybody about the latest experience that I've had. Um, I really feel like it's important to talk about this because um, people need to know. Um, I feel so blessed right now. It's I've never felt so alive. I've never felt so whole. Um, there's something about the way that they hold you energetically it was like they healed they gave me like a healing like a energy healing if you've ever had um like a reiki session or anything like that you know the feeling of this healing energy that is what i felt when i connected to these beings so beautiful like i can't stop looking at the sky i probably won't even look at the camera when i'm talking to you because i'm so busy looking at the sky I almost forget like that I'm on earth and that I have to like live here still. I'm just like looking at the sky like, all right, if that, if they're real, then everything is that I've been feeling is real. Like everything that I've ever thought probably is real is real <laughs> on some level or other. Um, it's real on some dimension or other. It's real. And, um, <sighs> I'm here for so much more. That's so evident now. I mean, I always I always kind of knew that I was here for something important because I always felt like I needed to help people. Like, I'll tell you, out of all the things that I've ever done in my life, the one thing that I know is the right thing to do is help people. That feeling that I get. Sorry, hair in my mouth. the feeling that I get when I help people it's um it's that feeling of like just knowing that that's right it's like I don't know <laughs> it almost feels like I know it doesn't make sense but I, I don't know I, I've never really made sense of it anyways I just have always known that we were like one entity as a being like everything is one and I've always known that in my soul. And like, that's how you can explain psychic phenomena. That's how you can explain so much. And it's because we are one with everything. Everything, including the aliens. Including everything. <laughs> like, everything. We are everything and everything is us. It's just, we are different expressions of energy. And it's so beautiful. And I, I hope that you guys get to experience what I experienced the other night. So what I did was I was researching Dr. Greer, um, Dr. Stephen Greer. He used to work for the government in the deep state, <laughs> you know, covered the UFOs and all that. Um, and ended up quitting to tell his story. And um, many different government officials have come forward Um that work for these deep states that we don't hear about that even the president himself doesn't know about. Um, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I never have been, but I can read energy. And now this is becoming more clear to me than ever before. Like why I never liked to watch the news, why I never liked the mainstream music, why I never liked pretty much all that. Like, and I always felt like, what the hell's the point to living if this is what life is? Like, this, this is not right. Like, something about this doesn't make sense. Like, I feel like life should be enjoyed, not something that's, like, always wrong or lack or fear. It's just, like, th the separation is unreal. And I could feel it. And I, I'm starting to understand, like, the feelings that I've had my entire life. And so... I was researching Dr. Greer because um, Joseph Adams, one of my spiritual mentors, he um, he has a lecture series that I'm participating in and he was talking about Dr. Greer and these intelligent beings. Um, they, we don't, you know, they, they're all different kinds of beings from all different places. They're not just one type of species, it's many different types. Um, ranging from light beings to actual alien looking beings and I don't know everything I'm still figuring it all out and I don't think anyone has all the answers 
But as I start to connect the pieces, I like to tell people what I see and take what resonates with you. I'm not trying to preach to anyone. I just, I really want people to know that they're loving and that they want to connect with us and they, they're here to help us. They're here to help us out of this, this hole we've dug ourselves into. Um, they have clean energy solutions. They have so many resources and the government has known about them, the deep state of the government. When I say the government, it's not even the government that you know of. It's the government that no one knows of, not even the president. And the president will tell you that there is sectors that he himself does not know about, President Trump. As much as I didn't really care for him while he was president, and I don't understand him very much, but I try to, I see him in his own way playing out in this duality of bringing light to situations in maybe not a loving way necessarily, but maybe it is from the cosmos. Who knows what dimension his higher self is on operating from. It's just we're living in this reality and everything kind of seems a little screwy. But now... <clears throat> I did the puja ceremony, which is in Sanskrit. Um, and you can even find it by looking, like going on YouTube and YouTubing it or Googling it. Puja ceremony, it's in Sanskrit. And it's basically invoking world peace. And while you're doing this, you're also, you know, calling in intelligent life, any kinds of life, whether that be angels, whatever. I called in anything that would come, <laughs> you know. Um, and then within 24 hours, like, I the, the th I think the mistake I made was that I did it from inside my house and then I was looking out the windows trying to see stuff. Like, you can't really see a lot of activity out the window. I'll tell you that right now. You have to go outside. A lot of them look like they're faint stars. Um, and then they'll start to move. And, and once you see them move, you'll know, like, they're not a star you'll know that it's not a meteor you'll know that it's not a plane and you'll know that it is what the fuck is that you know um it was like it was going left and then it was going up and then it was going sideways up down left right and it was getting brighter and darker and brighter and darker and then it was like disappearing and appearing in different places and it just like seemed like it was popping in and out of wormholes and it was just like really crazy experience and I was able to catch it on film, um, one of them anyways, because like, as you guys know, it's even hard to get the moon on a camera. Um, never mind a little tiny faint star that you're seeing float around the sky. Like, but so I got one, but it's very, very faint. And I put it up in, a, in one of the posts. Um, if you look it up, it's under my um, YouTube elements of divinity and um yeah i also got screenshots of the video up close and posted them onto my facebook and if you look really close you'll see like people are saying it's the glare and that it's all this that, that and the next if you look at it okay it changes shape as it changes shape the sacred ge the sacred geometry inside of it changes shape as well um, and it's, it might be reflection of light, whatever you may have it be. It doesn't matter what it is. It's definitely not a star that I was taking a video of. Um, and it was definitely not anything man-made. Um, and you'll see that from the videos. Like, I don't think that humans could make something that like that. <laughs> um, if we can, then I'd be very surprised. Um, and it, yeah. Anyways, you might think I sound like a crackpot right now because I'm talking aliens. That's okay. I completely get it. It's a really hard concept to wrap your mind around. We've been programmed to believe that anyone that talks about this is crazy. So that's why people that see things don't talk about it because they are in fear of being called crazy. And nobody wants to be the crazy one. Well, guess what? I've always been kind of weird. So I guess I'll just go with it not really a big deal i mean it kind of hurts like when you walk away and you can hear your coworkers like laughing talking about like she's seeing ufos man i i just want to say one thing and i want to thank my boss for being awesome i won't say your name for disclosure purposes but i will just say thank you even if you don't see this i thank you for being you 
you know the other day i came into work and he was just like so you're seeing ufos huh and i was like yeah and his daughter like is going to school and is into nasa and outer space and all that so like i know that he's got to have some kind of inclining and he's kind of like made little like remarks like there's a little witch in all of us and uh what else did he say oh um the one of the other people that work with me one of the other directors they said that, yeah there was a meteor shower and i said yeah meteors don't move like that and i said and she said yeah they do i read an article online that says that they they move erratically and sporadically like that i said did you see the video that i posted i said it's not like a sporadic erratic or whatever i don't know what you want to call it but it was like a zigzag it would stop and like like pretend to just be a star and then it, all of a sudden it would start moving again <laughs> And it would get brighter and darker and disappear and then reappear, like, and all the while making all these geometrical shapes in the sky, which I was able to get on tape. <laughs> and people still think I'm like, oh, it's just the glare of the light on the camera and blah, blah, blah. Dude, I was watching it with my eyes and then I took my camera out. And then not only that, I actually had a UFO encounter. I, after seeing the moving star and getting the video, I went home and I, I sat in my car and I opened my moonroof and I meditated and I, and I put it out there. I said, if there is any intelligent life out there that is here for the betterment of humanity and is here and wants to connect, I am a loving, peaceful ambassador of the earth and I am here to welcome you. And I shit you not, I watched three balls of light that were in the shape of a triangle move in the sky in unison and all of a sudden they were in the sky and then all of a sudden they were like were over my neighbor's house like it's just like boom there and then I'm looking at it in amazement and I'm like what the fuck is this I'm watching the lights and I'm like trying to like not stare at it directly because I remember what what Adam had, uh, not Adam what Joseph had said he said don't stare at it gaze soft stare like like let your third eye open so i did i did my soft my soft stare and as i gazed at these lights they went over my neighbor's house in slow motion my whole body as soon as i realized they were over my neighbor's house it was like they connected to me instantly the air felt electric it felt electric. It felt like I was in a portal. Like, it, I don't know. It felt like I, all of a sudden I was on like psychedelics. My whole body felt electric. You could feel, you could feel it. And then it was like, I didn't hear any voices. I didn't see any green men or anything. I just saw three lights. And then they, as they, it looked like moving stars. And as they got closer and closer and closer, I realized that it was a ship. And I could see that the three lights were actually just the bow, like the bow, um, the tip of the triangle being the bow, um, and the other two points being the sides. And I think that there may have been three beings in there, and that was what the light was. I'm not positive. I'm not a scientist. But that's the feeling that I got, and I've always been attracted to the number three. So... That just kind of was like, huh, ha ha, <laughs> why, <laughs> you know? Anyways, I hope you guys can feel the magic radiating off of me right now because I sure do. <sighs> so I stood there staring in awe. I was awestruck and um, just like connect. I could feel it like it was like like I could feel emotions through it like it was communicating through emotion and I just felt this deep love and it just I can't even explain it I feel like it woke something up inside of me that was sleeping I feel like more alive than I have ever felt before and I hope that you guys can experience something like this someday too I really do so magical and if you have a chance please go check out those videos and tell me what you think like i like honestly you know i'm very open-minded 
it could be the the freaking angels that came down to visit baby jesus and guide the wise men who the hell knows right you know but it was something that connected to me and something that gave me a healing and something woke something up inside of me and and i'm here to spread the word they're here and they're here to help if we destroy the world we will destroy everything. That's why they're here. Check out Stephen Greer and the CE5 protocol. Do your own puja. And if you're interested in like joining a group, there's also a CE5 app that I downloaded and you can find people in your area that way that are also looking for these beings and trying to connect. So if you're interested, shoot me a message and we can connect. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll put my email address down in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe and you never know what's gonna pop up on here next. <laughs> Go check out those videos. Love and light.